Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to install Portable Apps version of Thunderbird onto a USB key. So if we go Portable Apps and then Thunderbird into a web search, that will take us over here. Click the link. Now on the link Click download now. I'm using Chrome. And the easiest way to find the file is to say show in folder and we'll also go to my portable drive which I've already opened which is the iDrive and we'll drag the file into the portable drive. Now depending on the speed of the portable drive this might take longer or less time depending so, but if we click from in here now and click the Thunderbird portable click next click install and we'll wait for it to install it will actually appear to be taking its time at points just give it time. My portable drive is a fairly slow one, so it's still extracting here. See, it's here we go again. Now you can either click finish or you can click run Mozilla Thunderbird Portable Edition. Now, for now, we'll just click cancel. We'll go back to the file and we can now delete this, the installer. Now if we click Thunderbird Portable and then Thunderbird Portable XE. First run will be a bit slow. because it has to sort out the data files while it's at it. So we will let the file carry on doing its own thing. Now again, first run, similar to when you're using the desktop version of the app, um, you will see the new account window sign up.
again I've got an email account so I'll skip this and keep my existing mail type in my email address and my password And we'll click continue. Blue yonders are pane, so we'll do manual configuration for the blue yonders. And we'll have imap dot blue yonder dot actually no, we we'll use the Virgin Media. IMAPS 993 SSL TLS and normal password SMTP port 465 SSL TLS and normal password we'll click retest and then we'll click done And then when we're done properly, we should just see it working as a normal email client. Let's see it's sending login information at the moment. And there we go, there's all the email. Again, being an IMAP, um, the mail, because I'm using IMAP, the mail will be stay on the server when I'm done, so it's available in any other client that I choose to use. And that's all there is to setting up portable apps. Easy as pie.